Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we all want you to hear. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we all want you to know. Okay, I am getting an energy here of somebody that you see as a friend. Um, this could be a friend or an acquaintance or something. Um, I am getting an energy of this person trying to force a connection onto you. Like, I am getting that this person may have feelings here for you, but... The feeling seemed to be very one-sided. I just need one, one, one. Like, I am getting that you care about this person. Um, you may talk to this person here and there. But I do see that... It's like this person wants to be more than friends. And this person has a very forceful energy, right? I am getting that... This person feels rejected by you, but I am getting that the thing is, it's a one-sided connection, if that makes sense. This could be like somebody that feels a soul connection to you, but you see them as a friend, okay? And I am getting, um... It's like they have a crush on you or something, or they have feelings here for you. This person seems to be overstepping their boundary. They're not respecting the fact that you don't seem to be interested in them in that way. Again, this person feels rejected, right? Because... The, the connection seems to be one-sided. Um, it's like they have feelings here for you, but you see them as a friend, or you know you're not interested in them in a romantic way. I am getting that um, with the High Priestess here and the Temperance card, you have a very healing energy. Right? You seem to be somebody that's very intuitive. It's like you're on your soul mission, okay? For some of you, you may be a twin flame, somebody on a twin flame journey. Just somebody that's very um, intuitive, okay? Somebody that very gifted, okay? And I am getting that your energy, you seem to be attracting a lot of love. And it's like everywhere that you go, you attract love. Like, that's what you do. It's like your sole purpose, right? But I am getting that this person is sort of trying to force a connection that's not there on your end. Okay? If that makes sense. This is not for everyone. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. An Aquarius. This energy is obsessive, not gonna lie guys, um, this energy is obsessive and at the moment they're disappointed, they may be lashing out, maybe they're starting a fight with you or something. I'm getting that this person's disappointed because it's like they seem to be stuck in this one-sided connection. It's like they're convinced that you guys are meant to be together. But I am getting, again, with the High Priestess energy here, like, you seem to be attracting, like, you attract a whole lot of love. You are a healer, right? So it's like you are sent to people to heal them. 
this person, they're I'm hearing I want to be more than friends. It's like this person's not happy with being fr just friends with you. Like this person wants to be with you, right? And they're feeling rejected because I am getting that you may work with this person or again, this is just like a friendly vibe, right? On your end. For some of you, you're on the twin flame journey. You seem to only be like interested in your divine counterpart. It might be necessary to pull your energy back from this person because whoever this is, um, they're getting really obsessive with it. Like they won't let go of you. They're constantly thinking about you, constantly dreaming about you. Um, it's like they're crying over you. They can't sleep over you. You have a very strong energy, okay? And the thing is, it is addictive, but this person, they have a very obsessive personality. And now it's like they're obsessed with you. Um, with the Devil card reversed and the Moon card reversed, uh, to me that could be some type of like mental issue, okay, that they could be dealing with on the down low. But I am getting that, yeah, they have a hard time getting over things, okay. They also have a hard time like accepting that this connection is one-sided, right? And I'm not getting that this is a divine counterpart. This is somebody that could be pretending that they're your divine counterpart. This is somebody that you see as a friend, right? And I am getting that you in the high priestess mode. Um, you're doing a lot of healing here. You're very intuitive, okay? You seem to be on a twin flame journey. And you have somebody that... The thing is about this person, they're trying to adapt to you, right? So it's like they're trying to act like you. So for example, if you're very intuitive, they're acting like they're very intuitive, but really they're just like they're acting here, okay, to try to get in your energy. I do see this person figuring out what you're into, okay, I do see this person, they're obsessed, okay, they're also convinced that you're the one for them, for some of you, they could think that you're their divine counterpart, okay, um, this person, they're really, they seem to be like a control freak or something. They're very controlling. And I am getting that, yeah. They have their eye on you. And I am getting that you may have expressed that you don't feel the same or something like that. Now this person seems to be angry. They're lashing out. They're showing their true color. This person really seems to... This person's a distraction. Whoever this is, they're coming in a form of a distraction. I am getting, they're basically trying to hold you back from your true person, okay? They're coming in and they're trying to force their love on you, but it's one-sided, guys. Literally one-sided. They, they're very forceful. They're like, it's like they don't want to take no for an answer. They don't want to accept that you may not feel the same way about them. This person, um, and again, okay, the energy that you seem to embody, this is normal for you. People do think that they have a soul connection to you. You also, um, 
it's like you enlighten people, but you also put them on this path of healing. A lot of them feel, a lot of people may feel a soul connection to you or feel like they're being drawn to you. But again, um, this is just something that happens to people because you seem to be a catalyst for people's healing, right? Like you're the high priestess, you help people heal, right? You help people realize what their soul journey like is. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You seem to be... Um, Definitely somebody that, it's like you're your higher self, right? You're very in tune with spirit. You seem to be on a very high vibration. And you also seem to be attracting a whole lot of low vibrational people. I am getting people are like throwing themselves at you at the moment. Or it's just like throughout your life. Because you are a healer, right? So you've got somebody here that's mad, they feel rejected um, because you don't feel the same way. They do seem a little obsessive here. I also see this person being petty because you're not feeling the same way. They may start arguments, they may try to say bad things about you. I am getting that... This person's energy is a little, like, stressful. It's overbearing. Um, and it's like, I sort of see you walking away from this person. And this person, they keep trying to come back, right? It's like they won't let you go. I am getting that this person, they're trying to cause conflict. Now they're trying to fight with you. Now they're trying to cause conflict, okay? This person seems to be very unstable, very angry. I am getting that they seem to... Because you seem to not be romantically interested in them, this person is sabotaging this connection. Yeah, they're literally leaving themselves out in the cold now. I am getting you may block this person, okay? It's like this person's now causing stress, conflict. They may be trying to, um, it's like they're projecting. I am getting that you're somebody that's on a very high vibration. This person has a very, like, low vibrations around them, okay? And I am getting that they're projecting those low vibrational energies onto you. Yeah, basically this is um this is really obsessive guys. This person may have asked you out or something and you may have rejected them. Now I am getting that this person is literally going to do something that's very unfair here to try to get, get you back, right? Like this is like revenge, right? I am getting that... You're dealing with somebody that is like literally a control freak here. I'm not gonna lie, like a control freak. Like they are trying so hard to control this situation. They they're trying so hard to force you to love them. And I am getting that the more that they're doing this, the more it's like you're getting repulsed by their energy. Like their energy seems to be very heavy, very stressful. 
I am getting that you guys need to do like a cord cutting with this person. Like you got to cut the cord here. Because this person's obsessed with you. They won't stop watching you. They're also trying to force a connection that is one-sided, right? I'm getting this person's not understanding that this is your energy. Like a lot of people feel this way about you, right? So that's all I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next reading. Bye.